Rank 65 in the European Grandmaster with the Cannon Rush. Let's go! Ooh, starting real tough versus a Zerg player, Yordgog. I do recognize this nickname. I don't remember if we did play with him as a Cannon Rush, but I need to be uh, careful about that. That's uh, for sure. What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome to another episode of Cannon Rush in Grandmaster. Woo! We've been playing this series for quite some time, but it always feels fresh to play. I do enjoy playing this. It's very fun to play these kind of like aggressive, uh, quick paced games where anything may happen. <laughs> and let's start this Protoss versus Zerg on Golden Aura. I'm gonna start with a high ground wall of that's for sure. Now, the thing is I need to uh, avoid an Overlord, but I also would like him to start the hatchery first, right? That, that's the idea. However, a lot of the Zergs recently started to not play hatchery first versus me, but started to go for 12 pulls. So I need to prepare myself for that eventuality as well. So I'm gonna start a pylon here far away. That's what I'm gonna do here. Uh, here, he's good. I'm gonna start it far away and let's see if he has a hatchery. He has a hatch. Okay. Let's do it like this then. Oh, this is gonna be... I'm not sure if this is the, the proper way though. Um, this is very greedy what I'm doing here to be honest. Let's, let's wait. Let's scout him. Oh, this is a normal, normal probe, my friend. Completely normal phenomenon. Hello. Nothing to see here. A cannon. Gateway. Okay. Completely normal, man. There's nothing going on. This works surprisingly often when they go for hatchery first. They don't see the cannons. Okay, it's looking good. The uh, cannon, uh, sorry, gas now. We're looking very good here with, it, with this cannon so far. Okay, he's gonna go around with the drone. Let's do it like this. Okay, he cannot save this. There's, there was no drone that walked out, right? He just went back. Okay, there's the drone. This one is not in range of the hatchery, though. It's a bit of an unfortunate... If he doesn't cancel the hatchery, I'll make another one. Okay, he doesn't. I think that's a mistake. This has to be a mistake, not cancelling the hatchery. No way. I mean, he, he can actually use the, the larva from the hatchery a bit. Actually, no way. This kind of is in range of the of the larva as well. I think this is just a straight up great situation for me. I will not make a full wall off here, because I think I'm in a good enough position to not let any uh, Zerg units through. Uh, kill the larva, please. Nice. I'm gonna kill this. Before the unit hatches. Oh, it's a drone. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Nice, we got it. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. Good larva. Free cannon here is going to be super hard for him to deal with. However, can I kill this queen? No, I cannot let him make a creep tumor. It's going to boost up the zealot. Come on. Get the zealot. I cannot let him get a creep tumor. Okay, he's making one now. Let's get it. Oh, he's blocking the... Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. Uh, can I block this? Not quite. Not quite. Okay, let's get the gas. We need the robotics facility now. It's looking very, very promising for us. Oh, this spine is actually so perfectly positioned as well. Because it also makes the power for the robotics facility here. In a really good position. I'm making a follow-up pylon here. We're looking very strong now. I'm only afraid of a lair. Oh, no, under a creep tumor. Oh, my friend. That is a mistake. Right in front of me like this. Yeah, I'm going to go back with the stalkers. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this uh, overlord with a stalker. I can actually even recall this. To, to speed up the process. I don't need the Rico cooldown right now. There's no threat to me whatsoever. So we're gonna just kill this Overlord. And now the potential for a Nidus Swarm is even less. Because he has no other unit on the other side of the map. He would have to fly out with an either Overseer or uh, an Overlord starting right now. So if he wants to hit me with a Nidus, it's gonna take him forever. Okay, there you go. He already has Ravagers though. I don't have any batteries here. That might be a bit of a problem for me. But I... I... I'm so far ahead in this game because he lost the Overlord, he lost the he lost the hatchery, he didn't cancel it. I think we should be fine here. Okay, just very careful, very careful. I'm gonna lose one cannon, that's fine. One cannon is okay, I still have two more here. And the most important part is to have the Immortal here. Okay, now this is... Oh, there's another Overlord, can I get it? I have two Stalkers, we might be able to get it. Come on. That would be like a game changer already. He doesn't have enough larva or money. Nice, we got it. Two overlords and a half. This is the best start in a PvZ that I've ever, ever had, I think. Everything works absolutely perfectly for me so far. Okay, now we have the warp prism. Let's walk in with the zealot here. Okay, we got a roach. No, we didn't get a roach. I would like to get an observer here as well. Just for the sake of uh, clearing the crypto mars. Let me get this. Yes, we got the Ravager Cocoon. <laughs> it's really nice. He's actually saving a lot of his army here. 
I might need additional uh, additional cannons and batteries here. But I need to see what he's doing, if he has a lair or not. It's very important information now. He's making lair. Okay, so he wants to go for Nidus or something. So I need to start attacking him. Here with these immortals. Start trade a bit. Okay. We've got a queen for a little bit of health on the immortal, but we can always replenish that. Uh, the, the, the shield we can replenish, not the health. Okay. He has no link speed, by the way. Okay. Uh, I think I will go back with the stalkers and the zealot in case of Anidus. We have to do this. Ooh, that's close. I'm trying to dodge the ravager shots as well. I'm gonna go back just in case of Anidus. He could be Spire as well. Let's use the hallucination of the sentry. Okay, I, I need a couple of okay, actually I'm making a pun, that's fine. Okay. What, what do you show me? Spire. Okay. The Stargate. He cannot break through this. And I see the Spire. Nice. Nice. Perfect hallucination there. Always a great scout. He has double hatchery at home, by the way. How can he afford this? Let's just decrease the amount of gas that he will have for the Mutas. He cannot go here and like trade with the most. He's using the larvas for the links right now as well. We should be fine if we just micro properly. We don't lose any models here. We're fine. So it's not a Nidus, it's just a Spire. As long as I have the these double target, I should be perfectly fine here. Let's go. I can constantly keep uh, keep going up. Micro a bit. With the models. Yeah, that's GG. Let's go. Man, that was clean. One of the cleanest games I had uh, in the Canada series versus Zerx. Everything worked out perfectly for me. My opponent did... Um, well, multiple mistakes, right? I think the biggest mistake was letting the hatchery finish. He didn't find any use with it. He also lost a lot of larva. He lost the two creep tumors with the queens. He lost the overlord in the main base. Just like a, a chain of events that worked everything well uh, for me. All right, game number one is a victory. Let's go. We break 5.6k in war once again. I would like to keep it that way. Ah, uh, our great nemesis, the Terrence. The Terrence of the Canners. However, we did have find, uh, we have found some success. In the recent Protoss versus Terrence. I don't like to, uh, to keep it that way. I'm gonna send the very first probe immediately. You have, not enough minerals. have fun, my friend. Now, this is a very large map. This is a good position for the cannon rush, but can I make use of it? Because the turns are gonna be probably scouting the SCV, right? Because this, this cannon rush position is just too good to let it slide like this. Okay, I'm gonna send a second probe now. I'm gonna start with a First pylon here, possibly. This would be nice if he doesn't see it though. Let's do it like this. First pylon here. Let's get a forge. Let's not forget the forge. <laughs> that, would be, that would be disastrous. Okay. Go here. Now we go up the ramp, maybe. Just pretending this is a normal prop scout. Normal prop scout, my friend. Nothing is happening here. I wonder if he sees this or not. He might see it with the supply depot. I think it's very likely. Okay. Wait. We're in it, aren't we? Oh, get it. Get a cannon. Yeah, this is a good cannon. We need a gateway there as well. Oh, wait. Do I start the gateway? I'm gonna start the gateway right away. No time to waste. Let's keep the probe alive though. Wait. He's being very calm about it. He's not making a full wall either. I'm surprised. Got a cannon here. He's making a bunker right, right in front of me. This is not gonna work, no? Wait, the, the cannon's gonna... Oh, actually, it might work. I cannot make a cannon here. Please, don't die. Oh, it's gonna die. Please! Oh my god, he actually did trap the, the guy here. Well, the probe is still going here. One more cannon, please! No, not quite. Oh, this is not surprisingly... Like, this is surprisingly weak, what I have here. I'll tell you this much. Because I've this score. I don't think I can let the cannon finish, can I? It's gonna be two Marines. And yeah, we're gonna lose the high ground vision. Uh, yeah, we have to cancel this. Okay. I, like, I'm very surprised how weak it turned out to be because I like I had a very easy start, right? I just didn't have the money for the cannon. Okay, this one is gonna be cancelled as well. No way. I'm gonna make this one work. Okay. What is oh, it's the double racks. It is a double racks. 
That's why he has so many marines here. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I need a high ground vision for the zealot. We're gonna need an adept here as well. Get our gas. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I think with a uh, robotic facility, we might be able to make it work. I really need the adept though. Please, let me get at the adept. I'm trying to buy time here. It's something. He's trying to micro as much as possible. Okay, just the adapt. Okay, we, we bought enough time. Nice. Okay. What do we do? More raxes? No tech lap on these raxes, though. We one hell of a game. Oh, no, 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 no. My god, please. Okay, I have at least I have a battery. There's a marauder. Okay, the battery is keeping me alive. If I can fire the weakened marines. Shit. We need a cannon. Cannon, please finish. Cannon! Please finish! Okay, he's gonna finish! He's gonna finish! Get him, get him, get him, get him! Nice, nice, nice! Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Wait, no, I need... <gasps> this pilot is under threat! Oh, shit! No, 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 no! I actually cannot save this! It's my only pylon! I lost the probe! God damn it! Oh, it was looking so good! No way, man! I didn't notice he can attack this from the high ground. There's a factory as well already. It's a disaster. Oh, he's killing the cannons now. Ah, I deserve to lose this now. Ah, oh, we cannot make anything out of this, I think. I have nothing at home. We're losing, it's GG. Damn it! Oh, it was looking so good! It was looking so good, I just didn't realize I need to repower this pylon. Like, I lose this probe. Because I, wh what I was doing with this probe, I was also attacking the SCVs with the two adepts. Once the probe attacks uh, a single time versus an SCV or a marine, then the two adepts can one-shot this unit. So I was using the, the probe ag aggressively. But I completely missed out on the point that I need to make an additional pylon here. Because he can attack the pylon from the high ground. And that cost me the game. That actually did cost me the game. Holy shit. What a blunder. Okay, we got another term player. Man, I can't believe this. Ugh. These kind of uh, losses really hurt me. Simply because I know I can do better. And I should have seen this one coming, you know. I should have seen this one coming. But that's okay. That's okay. We learn and we move on. That's the, the point of this. And just point of life, to be honest, right? What would it be if you would make no mistakes? It would not be fun. It would not be fun if you would be only winning. Losing is definitely part of the experience. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Now, on this map, we can kind of hide the pylon maybe here, if he doesn't see me. That's in the other probe already. Okay, now we are not gonna get a additional probe. I think we're gonna just save up money. Save up money for, uh, for the pylons. The only thing I hope for is that he's not going to be adding... Uh, uh, he's not going to be SCV scouting. I think this is good here. Let's try this. Now, this is a very standard, very standard uh, probe scout. Oh, he sees this. Hello. No, what? Oh, my goodness. F you, man. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, maybe we can still cook from this. Maybe we can still cook from this. This. I do need a gateway though. I need a gateway. Oh, oh SCV? SCV? Please, oh my god, props, can you attack? Maybe in the next patch it's gonna work. <laughs> when the attack range of the workers is gonna be a bit higher. Let's follow the probe. He's gonna make a bunker. We break through here. We'll, we'll, we'll get just a, just a supply depot here, right? Let's me in. Okay. <laughs> we got the SCVs at least. Two cannons attacking the supply depot is pretty good here. I really need that uh, pylon here, by the way. That gives me high ground vision. Wait, why is this so far away? Okay. I mean, it was to be expected to lose this probe. It's fine. Let's kill this, though. Kill this. Nice, okay. And two pylons. Is this worth to keep them alive? I have to, right? Get the zealot. We need the high ground vision to protect the... 
It's gonna take a while for him to, to kill this. Okay, the probe is coming back. I need a little bit more money. It's gonna be free marines. This is a very calm response. I don't like this for myself whatsoever. I don't like this for myself. Okay, I'm just buying time here. Do we go Robo? Okay, we have to go something here. He's gonna see this though, it's far. Okay, it has to be here. Let go Stalker. Get a pylon here. Let's go Stalker. Actually, Adept would have been maybe better. It's too late, it's too late now, anyway. You can attack this pylon from the low ground, from the high ground, I should say. Be careful. And make another one here for the sake of safety. We need a battery. Wait, what is this pylon? In the battery. Oh, Reaper. Okay. Thank God I met a Stalker. Okay. Just in time as well. Okay. Let's get a, a, an Adept for scouting. We're gonna keep this Stalker here at home. There's going to be a Cyclone in just a moment, right? Let's cancel the probe. Very nice. Under SCV dead. Okay, we need to start the model production like right now. Come on. Give me the money. Oh no. Need one more probe here. Let's fix the mining a little bit. Let's get warp gauge just in case as well. He has a siege tank already. Holy shit. It's very far away though. It's not too late. Wait, wait, maybe maybe once he sieges up, I can snipe it right now. He's, oh, it's, far. it's close enough. I don't think I can I can take this. Oh, he's gonna be close. I don't think I can kill him. Let's try this. Wait, he doesn't see that it's an immortal. Okay, that's something. No, wait, the stalker! No, the stalker went back. Shit. I have dude. I have dude. No, no, this was not supposed to happen. Hey, Chrono. He doesn't know. Well, well now he knows it's a, it's a robot, right? But he didn't know before it because he made a Viking. Come on, stalker, save me, please. Come on. Okay. We multiple Vikings. Okay, we killed the Reaper. He has so many siege tanks. I mean, he has one siege tank with so many Vikings. I cannot actually break through here. We actually cannot break through. No. Uh, do we... What do we do? What's, what is my play now? Gonna make Vikings, Sea Snakes, and Marines. All of this really counter me here. Okay. At least I sniped one of the Sea Snakes, which is nice. Stop. Stop this. Stop this nonsense. Okay. Wait. His Vikings are here. Let's go. His Vikings are out of position. <sighs> what else they model for this? Not really worth it. Where's the stock? What is this? He still has more siege tanks. Wait. This one is actually very snipable. If I had two immortals, but I don't. Get the additional picture. This one is very snipable. Come back. No, don't die. What is this warpism coming back to the Vikings? Oh my what? I did not see this one coming. Ah, the Terrans doing it again. I mean, to be honest, this guy had a very calm and right response here. He did it very well. GG. Nothing I can do anymore here. I really liked how he didn't like pull SCVs or anything. Like the moment he got a full wall off, I couldn't do anything here. Uh, because I invest into the two cannons, maybe. Like the thing is, if if I know it's a it's a full wall off, it's better to get a cannon here and a cannon here. But if I can possibly get to the high ground, I want to have cannons here to protect this area here. I think maybe next time I play versus a Terran, I'll try to use this wall here. Pylon, pylon. Possibly. Pylon, pylon, pylon. I think. Because on this map, it's like, maybe my only option. 
I don't know. It, it's, it was a very good response by the turn for sure. And, well, he was the better one here. We lose another one versus the turns. Damn it. <laughs> we dropped so much from the 5.6k already. <laughs> I can't keep it up. Oh, and we got a PvP zone on all race episode. I love it. Always happy when we have all races included into the episode. Now, this is a one gate expand map. And we had one game the other day where the guy was going for a low ground wall off, trying to go for one gate expand. And we used his gateway to wall off on the low ground in here. That would be really nice to, to use once again. However, it's also possible that we're going to go for the high ground. If they go for the high ground, where do we put the cannons then? Okay, we'll just have to think on the fly. In PvP, it's very important to use the enemy buildings to, to your advantage as well, if possible. If possible. Let's see, one gate? No, no one gate. Okay, so let's wait a little bit for uh, enough money so I can make a full wall. Oh, what? Is, is this a cannon versus cannon? No way. Oh, wait, it's a... What do we do here? Do it like this. Do it like this. Maybe we can do something out of this? Not sure. We cannot do anything here. Wait. Okay, let's go here. Okay, he kills one probe, that's fine. Fine by me. This cannon goes up, no matter what. This cannon goes up. It's a full wall. We got him. He's gonna make a zealot here. Okay. One zealot is not gonna win this fight anyway. Let's make sure we fully wall again. Okay, that's fine. Now his zealot might be on the other side. I don't want to lose this probe though. I might I might lose this probe. It is the zealot. <laughs> Feels good to kill your own man. Um, yeah, the Zealot couldn't reach the cannons, and he, since he pulled so many probes, he would lose this pylon. He had no cybernetic score or anything, because he pulled the probes, he used all of his money to cr uh, chrono boost out the Zealot. I would get a Zealot. He had no second pylon to make a battery or anything, even without the cybernetic score. This game was over, man. This game was over. <laughs> and we got another Protoss versus Protoss. Surprisingly, it is not a rematch. I did queue up immediately after the game. Most of the time when we do that, we get a rematch versus the same guy, but not this time. He knows. Is it is it the guy that uh, beat us on Equilibrium? I think it might be the guy, right? Let's go. Okay. We. Well, I, th I think we need to get a revenge. I think it might be the same guy. Don't forget like and subscribe. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a. Uh, I think it's the same guy that we lost to. He got like a wall of here. Well, actually, I should say no wall of at the ramp, and just started building his buildings there. Let's see if we can do something here. <laughs> I think when you know 100% the counter rush is, is happening, it's much harder to, to make it work. But, we can maybe still think of something. We can start making cannons here on the on the low ground. If that's the case, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit for to get more money. Let's cancel the probe. A little bit more money. That's, that's good enough, no? If he has no wall off, that's fine. Let's start here. I'm gonna go here. Okay, he has a pylon here. Okay, he's making a wall of like this. Do it like this. Wait. Let's start from the from the low ground. We're fine here. Okay, we're gonna have to kill this. Fine with that. Let's not lose the pylon though. I could maybe make a. Oh, he's killing the pylons though. He's killing the pylons. Okay. Getting, oh, come on, get it. This is not the best position for me. Might be worth. I'm not sure. Get a forward cannon now. Don't lose the. Don't. Oh, are you serious? How did they catch up to me? It's impossible. Yeah, at least we got the cannons here. I can't believe this probe died. His probes were like faster than mine, man. The freaking acceleration. Okay, this does slow down me a bit. He did pull a lot of his workers, so maybe we can crawl forward? With this? Is this possible? You really need to bring the... The cannons forward here. He's gonna have a stalker though in just a moment. 
If I had a forward punch, this would have been a bit easier. But I don't. And there's a Chronobus sort of Zealot, maybe I can buy time with this. Oh, he's getting batteries already, okay. Oh, he has a stock out! Oof. Before I have even a Sabinetic score here. Oh, I, my, my probe is blocked, I cannot run. Okay, let's cancel this. Alright then. Alright then, we've been here before. I can make some adepts here, possibly, from this position. A scout around. He has double battery. What is he building though? He's getting warp gate. Double stalker. Okay, let's get a robot here at home. I need to keep this uh, zealot alive somehow, some way. I would like to keep it alive at least. It's gonna be helpful in the later stage. Yeah, let's just run away with it. Now, let's get a pylon here. It's probably gonna be... One away. Okay. Robo, no, okay. He's making a wall off. Can I get a second of that? That'd be nice. Yeah, we got a pro. Okay. We're, we're doing something here. That's a couple of probes already, free. Please save save this. Uh, oh no, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. I'll have a second one though. Get that another pylon. We're gonna lose some pylons here. If this guy can survive, it'll be really nice. Okay, let's get an immortal. I'm gonna shade out immediately. I need this. Okay, this is really nice. Come on, come on. Please survive. Four stalkers. It might be on red HP. Yeah, red HP. Okay. Let's bring back the zealot back. Uh, he has warp gate already, so. I have, I have literally. Zero gateways now. He already has warp gate. I need to keep the immortal alive. I'm gonna keep this guy on the other side to counter shade immediately. He's probably gonna be aggressive here, right? He has to be aggressive. I'd like to get a cannon here to protect myself. I'm not sure if one battery is gonna keep me alive. Get a nexus here and the battery. Actually, I'm not sure if going for a nexus first is play. Uh, it's, it's greedy. I cannot cancel it because I cannot waste 100 minerals now. Okay. I just hope my micro is good enough here. Get one immortal. I'd like to see if he's attacking either at the front or... Or at the back. Yeah, we're shading in. This should be successful shade in. He has, okay, he does have... Okay. He has sentries. I think we're fine here. Wait, I just wasted my energy here. Okay. I have a warp with them. Wait. Do the stalkers. Let's not lose HP on this. Come on. One more pylon. Heal up. Heal up, guys. It's time to fight. Okay, we defend. Is it gonna stargate? Gonna need this. I need a forward battery here though. To heal up the immortals. Hello, build this. He's gonna try to shade in, right? With the with the adepts. Heal up. Oh I'm gonna lose the Nexus. I just realized that. Oh. Okay. Fine by me. I guess the counter attack though. Rebuild? Can he do something here? Probably not. Oh, he sees this. Okay, so he sees this. We can fight this. He's recalling, okay. Get a phoenix. Wait, I mean, this is not so bad for me, I think. He's gonna have four adepts here though. That is going to be a bit of a problem. To kill this warp. Remember, he just used recall. He just used recall. Come kill this. Can you kill the battery here? Okay, oh, it's Robo Bay. What? Hello? You have no units at home? 
Because he's warping his stalkers, but stalkers are not the greatest unit versus the models here. Because he's trying to get the warp, he gets the warp with them. Ah. Okay. Wait, 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 the warpism didn't die. Oh, I should have killed it. Okay, slight mistake on my part. This warpism was dead. It just flew away. Okay, well, we have, what, two immortals? Hmm. Yeah, I, think, I think we're okay. I have an expansion, right? He doesn't, unless he has a gold. He could have a gold. I don't think he does have it, because he did invest a lot. But let's go for round number two. Let's get Forge. We need to continuously make Phoenixes. It's my only advantage over him right now. Because I have the higher Phoenix count. Sentries or Adepts are not that scary for me as of this moment. It's all about the micro now. Uh, can I kill a Sentry here? Possibly. I'm a bit afraid of lifting because he could have his own Phoenix already. Okay. And here. I'll try to... Do something here. Does he have a phoenix? He does. Okay. There's two of them even. But he has battery support. Okay. Okay, that's good. Kill the war prison, please. Very nice. We can uh, overpower the one battery here with four phoenixes, by the way. Alright. Uh, we can lift this model. Oh, there's two of them. A nice target fire. Can I get it? It's gonna be close. Not worth two phoenixes, no. Okay, that was not worth uh, the two phoenixes. I'm still okay in this game, absolutely. Okay, he does have a full expansion. I'm okay. I'm okay. He's gonna try to lift, so let's back off. Let's try to snipe the phoenix. We're gonna go back to the batteries though. Annoying. Kill the Phoenix now. Nice. Really nicely done. Let's get one more Stargate. Okay, he's warping more. Need to kill the Phoenix once out of the shield battery range, but. No. Nice. Perfect, perfect. One more. Nope. Just in range. Okay. No! Oof. Okay, I rallied over. Okay, we kill the Phoenix now. Got it? I have so many probes at home. Okay, pull back, pull back. Regroup. There's so many stalkers here. Ah, I lost all the Phoenixes. Okay. F plus one? Yes, plus one finished. Okay. I'm not sure going for the second stalker was the play here. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We have a very good economy. I just cannot allow him to counterattack me with the stalkers now, but he doesn't have he has like one immortal, we can always lift this with all phoenixes. However, he has so many stalkers he can snipe the phoenix. It's a bit of a micro battle now. But time is on my side. I have a far better economy than him. Let's go. Don't try to lift. Okay, got a battery support, no problem. GG! <laughs> Let's go! We made it! What an ending to the episode! Nice! Love it! I love it, man! <laughs> GG's! And also, thank you for being so nice about it, Mitchy. GG's! Good, good minor protests, good minor protests. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Cannon Rush in Grandmaster. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun playing despite losing to the Terrans. Like the Terrans are definitely the biggest pain uh, in the back in here uh, for us. But some, w whenever we win versus a Terran, that is a great achievement. Thank you so much once again. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content. And I'll see you on the next episode of whatever I upload. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. Take care. Bye bye.